right, so we've been started talking last time about the reaction types and um, how you can uh, identify what type of reaction it, uh, there is. And this is important because if you mix any two chemicals together, um, it's nice to know what they're going to produce. Or, or just starting with one chemical, what can possibly be produced from it. So I'm going to run through a few examples from Worksheet 5 uh, just on how to use the reactants to predict what the products will be. And then it's pretty much straightforward what we've been doing. Uh, you write the formulas of the reactants and the products that you predict will be made, and then you balance the whole thing. So I'll do a couple of them here. Here, like number one, silver nitrate is mixed with potassium sulfate. Okay, so we've got the five reaction types, combina uh, combustion, which is a carbon hydrogen fuel plus oxygen produces CO2 and water, a decomposition, which is one compound becomes two elements, combination is the opposite, two elements become a compound, Single replacement, where one thing is being replaced, an ionic compound here is having one of its uh, components replaced, and a double replacement, where two ionic compounds are trading places. Uh, to their, both of their metals are basically trading places. So we want to figure out which type we have here and use the reactants on these skeletal reactions up here to try to predict what the products will be. So we have silver nitrate. And again, it's, it's still all about formulas. So silver nitrate, it's an ionic compound. It's a metal and a nonmetal. You write their formulas. So it's symbols, charges, cross them, one and one. So silver nitrate is AgNO3. Is mixed with potassium sulfate. So is mixed with potassium sulfate. Plus one, there in group one, potassium sulfate is minus two. So it's K2SO4. Okay. So now that you have these formulas written, you want to predict, uh, you want to ide identify the type of reaction so that you can predict the products. Well, this is two ionic compounds, and that means it's a double replacement. It's the only thing where you have two ionic compounds. Okay. And to predict the products, basically, you're just switching the places of the two positive things. So. You've got the negative nitrate here. I'll just go ahead and write that down, and you've got the SO4. So silver was bound to the nitrate. Now it's bound to the SO4. Potassium was bound to the sulfate. It's now bound to the nitrate. You just switch their places. But then you have to write the formulas correctly. Silver's plus one, nitrate's minus one, so one and one. Silver's, I'm sorry, um, potassium. Sorry about that, plus one and minus one. And the silver, plus one sulfate minus two, so Ag2SO4. Okay, so predicting the products is pretty straightforward once you identify the type of reaction you have. And then it's uh, all down to balancing. And remember that uh, you do the polyatomics first, and then you go left to right uh, one at a time. So here I have one nitrate, NO3, on the left. I have one nitrate on the right. So I'm good there. I have one sulfate on the left, one sulfate on the right. All right. And so the uh, polyatomics are done. Let me go to the uh, one at a time, left to right. I have one silver on the left, but two silvers on the right. I can't have ended with two if I didn't start with two. And then I'll move on, just go to the nitrates. I've changed things here. I have two nitrates on the left which means I need two on the right. If I started with two, I need to end with two. Then I move to the potassiums. I have two potassiums on the left, two potassiums on the right, and done. One sulfate on the left, one sulfate on the right. Okay. Um, here, I'll do this. This now where it tells you the type of reaction it is, so I won't spend too much time on that. It's the combustion of butane, so C4H10 in oxygen, so combustion is always some carbon hydrogen fuel with oxygen. And it's always going to yield, right up here, CO2 and water. And I'll leave you to do the balancing to uh, 
put the coefficients out front of these to decide how many of each you have. Okay. Uh, silver nitrate and sodium are mixed. So silver nitrate, it's an ionic compound, a metal in a polyatomic ion. So silver nitrate plus one and minus one and sodium are mixed, yielding, okay. So we have the reactants here. We need to identify the type of uh, reaction it is. It's certainly not a combustion. There's no carbon, hydrogen, fuel, and oxygen. It's not a decomposition because that would be just one compound. It's not a combination because it's not just two individual elements. This is an ionic compound and an element, so it's not, it's not a combination. You go to single replacement, which is a single element and an ionic compound. Well, here we have a single element sodium and an ionic compound silver nitrate. So this is a single replacement. And what we're looking at here is the silver being replaced by the sodium. It's, remember, sodium forms a plus one charge. Silver is a plus one and nitrate is a minus one. So the sodium's gonna come over and kick one of these out and bond with the only thing it can bond with. Since it's positive, it's gonna bond with the negative. So the sodium is gonna come over and kick the silver out and you're gonna be left with sodium nitrate, plus one and minus one, and the silver off by itself. So again, once you identify the type of reaction then you can use these skeletal reactions to figure out what products will be formed, write their formulas, and now balance it. One silver, one silver. One nitrate, one nitrate, one sodium, one sodium. I'll leave uh, uh, the other two problems on that front page to you. And I'll do one back here. Don't exactly know which one to you to do, but maybe I'll do this uh, number eight here. This is mercury metal is mixed with lithium bromide, okay? So mercury metal, Hg, is mixed with lithium bromide. This is a metal and a nonmetal, so it's an ionic compound, so you do LiBr, plus one and minus one. Okay, just like uh, before, we wanna ID the type of reaction. This is an element and an ionic compound, an element and an ionic compound, so that this also is a single replacement. And this metal, mercury, is gonna come kick the lithium out, bond with the bromine, kick the, send the lithium off by itself. So we're gonna end up with mercury bromide, and it says mercury is plus one, bromide from the seventh tall column is minus one, so one and one plus lithium off by itself. And you just have to balance one mercury, one mercury, one lithium, one lithium, one bromine on each side. That one's all done. So uh, give the rest of these a shot. Start with the reactants, get the formulas written correctly. Use those skeletal reactions to try to figure out what type of reaction it is and therefore what the products will be. And write the formulas correctly and then balance the whole thing. Submit the worksheet when you're done.